But what are the first questions we have when you think about working as an engineer in Australia? There are usually two basic questions. What are my options? What are the pathways of being recognized as an engineering professional in Australia? And number two, what are the steps I have to take because I have, in my case, for example, a Brazilian engineering degree or a degree that's not recognized here in Australia or there's no accords that cover that. Well, guys, in this video today, I'll give the answers. I will talk about the pathways to validate your engineering qualification with Engineers Australia. Well, let's get down to the business now. There are three occupational categories in engineering recognized by Engineers Australia. One is the professional engineer, two, the engineering technologists, three, engineering associate or technicians. And for immigration purposes, according to the booklet, the additional engineering manager category is also recognized. However, applicants should note that this occupation is not an engineering occupation, but belongs to the A and Z SCO group of managers. Therefore, a positive result will not allow automatically as a member of Engineers Australia. And there are five pathways to the Migration Skills Assessment, and they fall into two categories, accredited and non-accredited qualifications. And there are four pathways following the pathways of Engineers Australia accredited qualifications and one pathway for non-accredited qualifications and engineering managers. First of all, the four pathways of accredited qualifications. Pathway number one, who obtain an Australian degree recognized by Engineers Australia. Pathway number two, the qualifications recognized by the Washington Accord for professional engineers. Pathway number three, the qualifications recognized by Sydney Accord for technologists. And pathway number four, the qualifications recognized by the Dublin Accord for engineering associates or technicians. And then finally, the fifth pathway is for qualifications not accredited by Engineers Australia or for engineering managers, which is by applying the competency demonstration report, or in short, CDR. And please note that Engineers Australia does not provide any pre-assessment, no pre-assessment services by Engineers Australia. It's your responsibility to identify the correct pathway to your qualification. And I'll explain the pathways to the recognition diagram, which is in the Migration Skills Assessment Booklet of Engineers Australia. You can find this diagram on page number seven of that booklet, and the link to download a copy of the Pathway Diagram can be found on Engineers Australia website or on my website, www.engineersinaustralia.com. And there's also a translated version to Portuguese. It's also available on my website. So Pathway number one for professional engineers, engineering technologists and engineering associates. If your qualification is accredited by Engineers Australia, and is listed as fully accredited according to the signatories published list and the date of your qualification corresponds to the accreditation dates and you would like to be evaluated according to your degree and course content then you can apply for the Australian qualification pathway. Pathway number two is for professional engineers. If your qualification is from a country that is a full signatory to the Washington Accord and your qualification is obtained in the same year or after the country became a signatory to the Washington Accord and is listed as fully accredited according to the signatory's published list and the date of your qualification matches the accreditation dates listed and you want to be evaluated according to a degree and course content so you can apply under the Washington Accord pathway. Pathway number three for engineering technologists. If your qualification is from a full Sydney Accord signatory country and your qualification is obtained in the same year or after the country became a Sydney Accord signatory country and is listed as fully accredited under the signatory's published list and the date of your qualification corresponds to the accreditation dates listed and you wish to be evaluated according to your degree and course content, so you may apply under the Sydney Accord pathway. Pathway number four for engineering associates or technicians. 
If your qualification is from a full Dublin Accord signatory country and the qualification is obtained in the same year or after the Dublin Accord country signatory and is listed as fully accredited according to the signatory's published list and the date of your qualification corresponds to the accreditation dates listed and you wish to be evaluated according to your degree and course content so you can apply for the Dublin Accord pathway. In pathway number five, your qualification is not accredited or is from a country not listed in the Accords and therefore you must apply by the Competency Demonstration Report or CDR pathway. Well, these are the five ways to get your engineering qualification recognized here in Australia. And the pathways to recognition are in the diagram contained in the Engineers Australia Migration Skills Assessment Booklet.